So, what a treat today. Brother T, man. I always wanted to do this. <laughs> oh, do it it's so what it's bad. all about. It's all about the nipple twist, man. It is. It really is. It's so, cute. all about, you know, it's more about love than just twisting nipples. Because if you just go up and you twist somebody's nipples, that's not really showing any care. Yeah. If you care about somebody and you twist their nipples, it's different. It's, it's sort of a war. It's a boy war. Mm. But if you don't go doing it to, to a girl, you're going to get knocked out. Yeah, you really got to be smart about yeah, it. Yeah. You know, unless you're in her house and, and you say, listen, do you mind? And if she says, sure, go ahead. You're, it's game. That's different. That's and, different. And, and if you just go up in the bar and do it, you're liable to get your teeth knocked out for one mm. and beat up by her boyfriend probably. And then maybe even locked up. Yeah. But with the way the laws are right now, you probably just get let out and go do it again. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so before we uh, started this thing, you were you were really getting uh, emotional. I brought a tear to my eye. I don't know if you could even uh, recapture that moment uh, before, but you were kind of telling me how you got. You got oh, started. how I got into music. Yeah, um, it, it's you know it's it, it's not like I, I come up with anything. So it's uh, it's right there. It's in here. Mm. Just like you have it, you know. Well, yeah, it's playing with your nips and all. <laughs> but anyway, I started. My musical journey, when uh, I was about eight years old, and well, eight, eight, eight and a half, somewhere in there, it was like 1980s, must have been 80, 81. Really? I, was, I was born in 75. Yeah. yeah, you're only three years older than me. Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm still a young dog, I think. I think you know? so. I, I grew up in, in a world of older people, that, but anyway, I'll get to that point. But, uh, my mom said to me, she says, you know, I'm going to clean the house. Now you get out of here. And I'm locking the door. You know, I'm just, just a little timid kid sitting around watching TV. I didn't have any friends. I was, the tr I was in school. I was always in trouble. Kids pushing me in the lockers and smashing my head off of bus windows and all kinds of stuff, man. I was just a little old fella. Mm. But, uh... When she told me to get out, I so I did. I got out of the house. I didn't want my mom to beat me up, you know. She got some big muscle. You ever meet my mom? I don't know. I would probably remember if I did. I'll tell you, man. She, well, she don't have any big muscles anymore, but and she really didn't hit me much, but you know. When she did, I'm the, sure you had it the, coming. The fear of God. Yeah. The fear of God. We had the fear of God, you know, it's when our parents come up and they're they're like, You're gonna get it, you little son of a bitch. But uh anyway. I made my way up around the corner, living colony. I stumbled upon uh, this music shop, Adirondack Strings. I'm looking in the window like a, like you know, sort of like a fish looking at people like through the aquarium. Like when you're on the aquarium and the shark's staring at you, mm. he's like, he's like, why isn't that guy in here swimming next to me? Or maybe I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat you. But anyway, uh, Henry comes outside and he invites me in. I think Jim Jimmy Barrett was working there about that time. So that you know, like I said, eighties, eighty one, and uh, I just came in. I didn't know what a guitar was. All I knew was what I knew from at my house. My my parents listening to the Beach Boys and playing, you know, Neil Diamond and Barry Manilow and all that older stuff that really wasn't my bag. Yeah. You know, my my uncle Dan when I started. Hang out with him. He uh, was the one that introduced me to Led Zeppelin, Rainbow, Van Halen, ACDC, Pink Floyd. The list goes on. And he says, mm -hmm. you want to know real rock and roll? This is real rock and roll. And um, we sat down when I hung out with him. We used to spend a lot of time with my Uncle Dan. He was my favorite uncle. And uh, we would watch... You know, the wall and the scene where the guy cuts his nipple off and all that stuff. I don't know if you know that. I don't remember that part. That that movie is traumatizing. It's a, it's a trip. It's a trip and a half. And I, I never did any drugs my whole life, so I don't know what the experience would be to, like, it would watch, suck. watch a tripping or yeah, or suck. Who or, would want to do that? Maybe you. No. I don't know. No, I, I would love to trip. Uh, I'd rather watch something that's... Just, you know, you know, if you walk calm, and I, I hold my leg out, is that the kind of trip you want? Yeah, sure. 
that's, that's, that's what we were talking about, of that's course. That's right. But uh, anyway, I, I, you know, I, I watched the Star Remains the same. I fell in love with Led Zeppelin. Still love Led Zeppelin to this day. And, yep. um, you know, Jimmy Page is, is a very influ- influential guitar player. You know, over the years, I don't think he's the best guitar player in the world. But at that time, I thought he was like God. Sure. And, uh... Well, he doesn't suck. No, he doesn't <laughs> suck. And Robert Plant, I thought that he was God, too. And He might be, actually. And I, I lived by the words of all those songs. and uh, Especially Stairway to Heaven Backwards. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. What, uh, every, every uh, what is it? Every two, every road has two ways. Is that where I turn it back? I think so, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it goes, I don't remember the exact word, but you're listening to the same one talk. But, and what other song had it in it? There's another band that did that. There were a few. Yeah. Like Britney Spears, maybe. Brit- well, Britney Spears, you know, you. I know you were a big fan on it. <laughs> you know. You're a big fan. Of course. And you still, you know, before I came here, when you just took the damn shirt off. I just took the shirt I off. I don't know why you did that I because. St- I still got the bedspread. And and t- you were listening to Tiffany when I walked through the door. Love uh, Tiffany. I like, interviewed what, Tiffany what last year. Is, what's up with that? Tiffany. Jesus Christ. Fuck it. Oh, you know, it, it's, Love it's, Tiffany. It's, it's, it's all right, you know. To all the Tiffany fans out there, you know, it's okay. Tiffany, you know, you got my heart. That's right. But we'll get back into Adirondack Strings. I I think I want to play uh, a song that I wrote at Adirondack Strings. Okay. It's uh, it's called Chubby Chicks. Oh, all right. Well, let me uh, make way for it. And the the Chubby Chicks are the ones I dig. Hell yeah. You know, I'm not talking big flabby girl. That's, you know, big girls are okay. But I like I like bubbly personalities. I like kind of like thick girls that are cute. Mm-hmm. Right. Hell yeah. Hey man, a little bit more cushion for pushing. <laughs> well, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> It's a penny bar, I'm gonna make a stop to the all you can eat buffet. I'm in search of a city town, with childbearing hips and a big behind. Maybe she'll bring some love in my way. I'm a chubby chick to the one that I talk, gonna find me a honey that will fit in my door. Chubby chicks are the ones I dig I think the girls in the cakes and pies With 38 ways down on thunder and thighs Hair color I don't mind I think the wrong who best Find her out all the time Buy her dinner date fancy fine Pick my bank with dinner and a movie a chubby chaser got that right I'll take her out each and every night there be no more reasons to fight No more titty balls on a Tuesday night I'm a chubby chaser of the ones I talk Find me a honey that will fit through my door Chubby chicks are the ones I did He got that right He said chubby chicks Chubby chicks, chubby chicks are the ones I dig. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, 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 as I sit here and I try to play this song, I can't play it perfectly. But my friend Sam Farkas, from back in the day, he owned Adirondack Strings. Okay. I don't think you ever know, knew who he was, did you? I don't think so. He was a fantastic jazz musician. From from here, right here in Albany, and um, he passed away. Um, I think I was in in my late thirties. He was only fifty eight years old. Wow! And uh, he was playing one night in Saratoga, and he had a medical emergency, and he ended up passing away. Damn. And he was uh, very beneficial to my life and my musical career. And sure. uh, he was a funny, funny, funny guy, and. Uh, he helped me write so many songs and had some brilliant ideas. And 
I just have to thank him. You know? Definitely. Well, definitely uh, thank him and. Uh, yeah, man. I, mean, I was gonna make a funny joke about my make wife, how my wife shouldn't go on that diet anymore after that song, cause uh, you know, yeah, you, you're, you're kind, of, you're kind of getting a little he heavy in the loafers. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so what's the, so what's this next song that you're gonna play here for us? I, I think, I think uh, I'm gonna. It's, it's about my, it's about, oh, about one of my friends. His name is Rob O'Donnell. Do you happen to know that guy? Never heard of him. I'm gonna play it. It's a, uh, it's called Plumber's Crack. <laughs> Well, I sing you a story that happened to me. I was just trying to be polite, pick up litter in the street. Well, I bent over Picking up some litter Somebody screamed Hey, that's a nice shitter So I said Hey, that's what He said you got plumbers ah, Chris Chris When I'm picking up later, I got plumber's crack. Stop staring at my shit. So I continued down the road. Everybody's making fun of me, but I just can't lose control. Cause I got a duty to pick up the trash People are knocking out their door But I'm just doing it for fun Cause I'm a good singer <laughs> But I say I got plumber's crack When I'm picking up later I got plumber's crack Stop staring at my shit Or I got plumber's crack Stop making fun of me <laughs> I got plumber's crack Picking up litter in your society. La la da da da. La la da 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 da. That's that's about my friend. He lives with his mom. They used to call him Bobby, Bobby, I think. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Robbie, Bobby, yeah. Yeah. Sort of yeah. like Rob Spinnick, sort of, yeah. But different. But different. But, uh, I don't know. Same same level. Same level, really? Uh, well, you, you've, you've grown. You've grown. Well, I bought a belt. He's got a belt on. <laughs> you, my friend, are, are a nominee for you the... Know, 2024 yeah. Rock and Oddities that's, Les that is, Nuffle Awards. That, I know. That's that's a classic thing. So you're nominated for one or two categories? Two categories. Two categories. Yeah. Um, both the most important categories. Are they? I think so. If I, was, that, if, if, a, if, if I was on a Comedy Central, I think I'd want those. Is this part of like Comedy Central? Have you been to the Les Nuffle Awards yet? Oh, yeah. They were there last yeah, year. There, I, there, I talked to you. Yeah. Yeah, we're just there's, trying there's to have one, fun, um, I. I, I'm actually kind of like proud to be part of it. You said, you and I, I think it, I think it's like right up my alley because all my whole musical career, I've been kind of on a comedy kind of guy, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's what I really dig, man. And, and you know, I 
Well, I get a little emotional just like the rest of us. You know, and I might and I might come off the wrong way on Facebook, but you know, Facebook, I I give the finger. And, you know, that brings me to my other band that you know is going to be playing first time in four years. Really, non compliance. Wow, it's been that long. Four years since we played the show, man. But uh, we're going to play a show at uh, Empire Underground, and we're playing that uh, on March sixteenth. So you know what? That's probably gonna be a day I'm gonna be drunk. Oh, I don't drink that much. But uh, on parade day, come on! Oh, it is parade day! Wow, what, are, that's a great gig to are, get, are you, man. Are you gonna drink with me? I can drink with you. I'll play this one. Crabs could have a carnival. She's so damn nice to them. How she loves them so. They're jumping all around. No Ferris wheel. She's so damn awesome. Cause she's got sex appeal. It's like she's from the 60s. They're just a hippie. Man, I bet it smells down there. She's got barrettes on her pubic hair. <laughs> it's just a small little ditty. <laughs> oh my god. But, but you know, I can't. I, I'm going to have to play at least one more. So I'm going to play this song. It's called I Love Lesbians. <laughs> Can't get no satisfaction, but I dig girl and girl action. I love them, but they don't love me. Ain't got the proper equipment, as you can see. Why don't lesbians love me? Their leather and lace. I wanna sit on my face. We can die later than eight. I can't guess the way to I don't this be as love me. I'm a lesbian trapped in a man's body. If I had two, I could be so naughty. Why don't this be as love me? All I need cause I've got me a penis Why don't lesbians love me? I like their leather and lace I wanna sit on my face We can die in later than eight I can't guess their way though Why don't lesbians love me? All the magazines watch videos on my TV. Why don't lesbians love me? I don't get a monthly friend, and I can shove it in either end. Why don't lesbians love me? I like their leather and lace. I want to sit on my face. I can't guess the way to why don't lesbians love me? I need to know why don't lesbians love T? Well, on that note, that's pretty much a wrap. You got anything else that you'd like to say to the people? Uh, stay positive, play music. And uh, just be you, man. You can't be somebody else. You try to pretend to be somebody else, it's just going to flush you down the toilet. You know, and laugh as much as you can. Bust on your friends. If they bust on you back, laugh with them. And then just come back with something better like I do. 
I'm, I'm good at it. Mm-hmm. I've been busting balls since I was eight years old, hanging out on running strings, so. Yeah, you're pretty darn good at it. <laughs> Too good at it. Yeah. Too witty up here. When you're witty in your head, you always be good. So, right. Just stay real. And pinch nipples of your friends. Please. please and, and give hugs and always tell your friends that you care about them. Because you never know, you might not see them tomorrow.